Welcome to my new video. Today we learn about the linear programming problems. In operational research, it's a very good solve the decision making for taking any problem to solving by linear programming is very easy. There are different different methods for solving this linear programming problem. So we start with first understand what is LPP, what is linear programming problem. LPP is the most versatile, powerful and useful techniques for making decisions. It solves broad range of problems, comes in our daily life like business, government, hospital, libraries, etc. So what are the properties of LPP? for when we making or we construct a LPP problem or linear program problem, we must follow these properties. First, the relationship between variable and constraints must be linear. So always the relationship between variable and constraint is a straight line linear. It's not allow any curvy line. So relationship always be linear. The model must have an objective function. Objective function means what we need. We need maximize our things. So maximize problem. If we need minimize our thing, required minimize, then that is minimize problem. Third, the model must have an structural constraints. So these are structural constraints with help to solve this LPP and when we find these structural constraints value, we put in our objective function, we will get the maximized result or maybe minimized result. Next, all the model must have non-negative means our constraints which we consider that x or y or whatever, they are greater than zero or maybe zero. It's all are non-negative constraint because if they go for negative, the objective function doesn't mean so always they are non-negative function. So let's see how to formulate any LPP problem. For example, a company manufactures two product X and Y which requires the following resources, following machines. There are three machines, machine one, machine two, machine three. Capacity at the planning period, every machine have a certain capacity. So for first machine, capacity is 50 hours, second is 25 hours, third is 15 hours. And the product X, for product X, they need one hour in machine two and one hour in machine three. And for product Y, they need two hours in M1, machine one, two hours that product need M2, second machine and one hour for final that need machine three for one hour. And the profit of both the product, product is for X, they will got $5, for Y, they will got in one item they will got per unit is four dollars so these are the profit now how to maximize this profit or we formulate this problem in LPP that's why we can solve and we need that how many product of X we produce and product of Y this company produce or this manufacturer produce that he will get the maximum profit that is called the LPP problem so Let's proceed how to see how to construct this problem. We have all the data. So for LPP, we just tabulate the all the information. So our information is we have three machines in that factory M1, M2, M3. We have to make two product X and Y. And the available hours are for machine 1 is 50, machine 2 is 25, machine 3 is 15. Product X need 0 hour on M1 and here one hour in m2 one hour m3 product y need this and profit per unit is five dollar four dollar let's consider that manufacturer manufacturer made x unit of product x and y unit of product y so profit will be because each x profit is five dollar so five times x Maximize our profit is maximum Z. This is the called objective function of LPP. And for Y unit, $4. So 4 times Y. Our objective function become maximum Z equal to 5X plus 4Y. It, this objective function depends on the 
available machine hours. So for machine hours, we can construct the linear constants. So with the help of these linear constraint, we can solve the value of x and y. Substitute here, we will get the maximize objective function. So what, how to construct the uh, constraints? That is like that. For machine 1, for machine 1 product, x need 0 hour, y need 2 hour and maximum hour is 50, not 2. So m1 is 0x plus 2y, it's always less than equal to 50 because machine 1 capacity is 50 hour. Then for machine 2, x plus 2y less than equal to 25. For machine 3, x plus y less than equal to 15. These are called linear constant relation between the both variable are linear and third most important condition is x and y always be equal to 0 or greater than 0 they will be non-negative it means machine can or <laughs> factory manufacturer can produce at least some amount of that thing they don't go for the negative so always these are positive so this is called the formulation of LPP problem for maximization. Now I will show you one minimization problem for formulate. Another example for minimize the problem. What is the example? A patient consult a doctor to his check up his ill health. Then doctor when examined he suggests him that he need two vitamins to take daily. Vitamin is A and D and the quantity he take daily is vitamin A he needs 40 units, vitamin D he needs 50 units. He have to take daily. There are two tonics or two tonics which have vitamin A and D both. So these two tonics X and Y have what, how many quantity vitamin A have? <coughs> Vitamins X and Y. In X, vitamin A have 2 units, D have 3 units. For Y, vitamin A have 4 units, D have 2 units. And daily needs for that man is 40 units, 50 units. Cost per unit of that tonic is $5. For Y tonic is $3. Now, the person want to minimize the cost of tonics means which tonic he buy how many bottles or he requirement will fulfill and he need minimize cost of that tonic so for that we construct a minimize model of lpp for this we consider let us consider he the patient buy x units of tonic X and Y units of tonic Y. Okay, then our objective function is minimize Z, minimize Z equal to cost is 5, so 5 times X plus tonic Y is 3, so 3 times Y. First thing, our minimize function is this. Now our constants, constant depends on the requirement of tonic have vitamin A and D. So our inequalities for vitamin A for vitamin A is 2x both 2x plus 4y is always greater than equal to 40 means the man can take at least 40 unit or maybe little more but not less than 40 unit. So for vitamin A Our constants are 2x plus 4y is greater than or equal to 40. For vitamin D, <coughs> so 3x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 50. So <coughs> this means the patient at least take Vitamin A will be 40 unit or more but not less than 40. Vitamin D is 50 unit or more than 50 unit but not, not less than 50 units. So our LPP problem already <coughs> construct that minimum Z equal to 5x plus 3y 
our constants are 2x plus 4y is greater than or equal to 40, 3x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 50. Last most important condition is x plus y is always greater than or equal to 0. They are never non-negative. So this is called the formulation of LPP or linear programming program. Let, next we move to the method for solution these problems. So how to solve when we find the finalized result. So for method, there are different different methods. Most simple and easiest method is called graphical method. We have to draw graph of these state line construct. And then first one is graphical method. So second is systematic trial and error. But for graphical we need two variables x and y not more than two for consider the graph because it is needed. For systematic trial and error, we put systematic way of uh, values of x and y and we must find, finalize the objective function. But it is very long, laborious and very, um, it takes too much time. So it's not user friendly. Third one is the vector method. For this vector method, we consider each decision variable is as a variable and we apply the vector algebra to solve that vector. And last one, fourth is the simplex method. Simplex method is the method to solve LPP at everywhere. It's the maximum places we use this. This is the have more than two decision variable most powerful method for solving LPP and it has a systematic program we have to make the tables how to calculate the table I will show you and then finalize our optimal solution or we can say objective function we find maximize or minimum value so we start with the method that is called graphical method first i show you how to solve lpp with graphical method then we move on the simplex method that's all for today in next lecture we will learn about gra graphical method thank you very much